Hello, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, I'm very excited. We're gonna get this thing dried in. So to start with, we're gonna get this diamond plate on. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video, if you tuned in or if you paid attention, whatever. I gotta get this thing put on the front. It goes two feet up and I got one on the back as well, the same way. My lights in the back are gonna go wired through there. That's why I gotta get that on first. Then get all my lights on. I gotta get all these corner trims and stuff on, but weather's not the greatest today, so I'm trying to do what I can under the roof, but then I gotta pull it out so I can finish it off out there. But anyway, we're gonna get these on first and then we'll move forward from there. Well, I got the diamond plate on. I didn't video it. I needed a helper and they didn't really want to be on camera. So there's that. And there's this one. There's going to be a molding that goes across the top right there with a little black trim in it. And then there's the corner molding. So I needed those on first before I can do those corner trims. And I got to get these doors and windows in before I can get all my trimming in too. So there's my door, I gotta put some uh, weather stripping stuff behind there, sealer, sticky tape stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, I can't think of the name right now. But uh, I'll show you what that is and uh, get that on the door and start with that. So I moved into the shop because it's easier to work in here than it is outside. So this is the stuff I was talking about. It's black stuff, rubber, sticky sticky trim so let's seal it all that nice stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and put that all the way around the door even in the bottom just so it's all weather tight and then i can go put it on the camper and screw it in place <laughs> All right, let's go get this thing on to the camper and screw it in place. Almost forgot, I gotta take these screws out first. Officially installed. Awesome. That's good. I gotta do some adjusting, but that's fine. I'll do that later. Let's get the windows installed. They're gonna be a little bit trickier because it's a two part. I got a window from the outside I gotta slide in, and there's a metal frame from the inside I gotta screw to the window to kind of sandwich it in place. So I gotta cut those trims. They're used windows, so I have frames that I have to piece together but it'll all look good in the end so I'm gonna get working on that and I'll show you in a minute so these are my windows this is one of them anyway for this side and this is the trim that goes on the inside it has to loop around the edges and uh, sandwich it in place obviously this isn't the right size for this window so I have to cut and modify it to fit so first step is to get this window pushed into place and I go from the inside and figure out exactly where I want to mark these and cut them so it'll all fit nicely. I'm 
And these windows already have a rubber seal on the back. So they already got a rubber seal on there. And so that should work for that. So this is how that goes on there. I think I want to use it this way, which means I got to cut it in half, extend it. I got to put a small piece in the middle in there. And this one I'll probably cut in half as well, just so that all my joints are centered and they look a little bit better. I got a couple pieces cut here. It's going to be for this top corner and this bottom corner. I'm just going to have to have a small piece in the middle in between there. <clears throat> it's not the end of the world. There we go, one window is in. Fantastic. Whew. I'm gonna do the other side, put that on a time lapse, and you'll see it when it's done. There we go, it is all installed. All the trims are on, all around. Show you from the outside. There's this one from the outside. And there we go. Perfect. Looks really good. A lot more complete. So the next step is to, um, well, next I'm gonna put that roof vent in up there and get that part sealed in. And then I'm gonna move the whole trailer out from under the roof and do all these trims because I need the headroom to be able to swing these large 16 foot pieces over to get the curb going. So I'm gonna do that. There we go. I got that installed. I'll show you from the inside. There we go. It's in there. And I got a finished trim to put on there so it all cleans it up nice. So I'll got to wire it up first and then I can do that. I didn't video it, but got the wires connected. It's just a simple two wire setup, positive and a negative, all low voltage stuff. So I'm gonna shove that in behind there and put this trim on and see how that goes. My tripod is broken, it's just having and giving me a hard time, so that's hard to film today but I'll see what I can do and try to get more shots for you guys. There we go. Screw that in place and that part will be done.
Ta-da, we got light. There, one part's complete. Okay, I think I am ready to work on the corner trim outside. So I'm gonna set up outside and do that. This corner trim's done and I got this one one piece flat molding. Looks like that. It's got a little bit of an edge on it. One side is just a touch bigger. So that's what's gonna go on all the sides and on the front and the back by the diamond plate. So just taking these screws out that I had in here to hold the diamond plate on. And then we'll throw this on. There we go, all the trims are on. Oh, it looks amazing. Such a huge transformation just getting those things on there. I am so happy with the way that looks. Show you around the other side. Oh, it looks so much more complete. So they're up top, they're down the middle, and they're at the bottom. And same around the back, got the diamond plate across there and I got them at the bottom down there and then they go up I gotta throw some more rivets in there uh, I riveted it together so I'm gonna throw some more in there and on the front but uh, here we go and I got that cover all painted black put it back together put it on there oh I'm so happy with that so next step is to get these lights on so I'm gonna get these lights installed and then it will officially be dried in so that's exciting and uh stay tuned for that hello it's a new day and we're going to continue back where we left off and get all these wires put in place get all these lights hooked up so that it's completely all the holes are filled in so that it's completely dried in this is what i have i think i showed this in a previous video but i'm going to show you again so I got some tail lights, I got some marker lights, I got an exterior light, I got a license plate light, and then there's the full trailer wiring for trailer brakes and everything else included. So that I'm planning on running underneath the trailer from the front where the tongue is obviously underneath the trailer here and then up underneath the floor here there's going to be a bench in here for your eating area and that's where the whole main power box is going to be for all the trailer wiring so i'm going to hopefully run that in today but my main goal is to get all these uh, wires cleaned up and all hooked up unfortunately when i was running all my wires you can see that there's you know a bunch of wires up in there there's three wires and my marker lights i didn't realize 
I didn't realize that my little marker lights that I have going up there, they have no room in the back for hiding any sort of wires. I thought there was a little bit of a concave in there so that there was room for hiding morettes, or not morettes, but uh, wire connectors and stuff. So, what I'm gonna do, right around here is where there is the wires coming out. So I'm gonna cut an access hole from the inside here and on the other side and up front to get access to those wires. I'm gonna make them removable so somewhere in the future, whenever there's any sort of wiring issues, they can be popped off, you can be checked, you know, look at them or whatever you need to do. So that's the goal. So I'm gonna figure out exactly where I want those holes cut and then fish those wires back inside and connect all my wires. So I think that's gonna be the easiest bet rather than trying to figure out something from the outside and it'll look, it'll still look fine. Once it's all in here and it's all painted the same color, it'll just be an access hole, so. Anyway, without further ado, let's get some holes cut and get these wires hooked up. So this is what I got. I got all my holes cut. You can see the hole there where the wire pokes through on that side and on this side and at the front. So there's all those holes. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, that's just what I have to do. I think it works out better this way anyway. You can access the wires if you need to. If there's ever any issues, if you need to replace those lights and whatever. So, anyway, it is what it is. I'll put access covers at the front of the trailer. There's going to be a whole cabinet there anyway, so those will be easily hidden. These will make them look nice and it'll be fine. So, that's that. Now I can mount all the lights from the outside first, get them all secured run the wires through and I can connect everything from the inside. So it should make the whole process even easier than it was originally planned. So I think it works out good this way anyway. Let's get those lights mounted and secured and then move on to connecting them. Got all those marker lights in. They're all installed. I'm gonna put these tail lights in now. Get them all put where I want them. Gotta figure out these wires again. I know this was a ground. And which one goes where. Okay, so after doing some figuring out, figure out what these wires go to there. So I got this little piece of paper that came with all my trailer wiring stuff. There we go. All the lights are on. Only thing left now is wired it from the inside. 
And then I gotta run my main wire for my plug-in for the truck. And then I can test it to make sure they actually all work. So, work on that now. All right, I got all that done. Got them connected up in there. They're all proper wire connectors and then sealed up with some electrical tape. I got one there. The ones at the bottom connected over and ran. Right here is where my main source of power is gonna be for all those lights. So that's why all those wires are coming out there. Got another one up there. Other one over there down there and there and then these wires that are here those are all for my 12 volt system so my lights my fan exterior light and uh whatnot so there's that i tried to video tried to video had a camera set up in here but i realized it was very very shaky from me moving around i don't have the stabilizing jacks on there so it's just very shaky so i probably won't even be able to show any of that just because it's shaky and annoying to watch but that's that that's all done Next step is I'm going to get the main wire hooked up so I can get all these wires hooked up and test all my lights. So hopefully it all works. So let's get that ran and hooked up. So this is what I got for a control box. And then this is just laying over here, but there's my plug. It's going to go to the front. And this is going to run underneath the trailer. I got to take all these things off. Run all, take all these wires off so I can drill a hole where I want it and poke this up from underneath so I can mount the box inside. I wanted this inside where it was easy, easily accessible if for some other reason you needed to check on the wires. You don't have to lay underneath the trailer and, and look at them. You can get them in here really easily and do what you need to do. So there's that. I'm going to loosen all those up, drill a hole, and get that ran in here and then start figuring out my wires. <laughs> <laughs> so I hit myself as I was trying to drill this hole underneath here. You get all. Grab the individual wire. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's going to be a little bit tricky getting it all through there. Okay, so I'm just going to temporarily mock all this up. Just to test everything out because I gotta I can't fully mount this anyway because I want to have it out for all my flooring and stuff first but I want to test it all so that I know all my lights work so this won't be pretty but it should do the job okay that should be it I'm gonna go back up the truck hook up the wire and wish me luck Okay, that's one step closer. Got all those working, but marker lights aren't working, so I gotta figure out why it's not doing that. But should be an easy fix. There we go. Got them all to work. All the marker lights work. That works. License plate light works. Marker lights all work. They all light up. Simple wire mix up. The ground was a positive, positive was a ground. They have a black and white wire off the back, but 
Because apparently the white is the ground on those, not the black, which is confusing and annoying. But whatever, it's all good. It's all done. So they're all, all hooked up, all done, all ready to go. Perfect. I am very happy with the way that turned out. It's a mess inside. Messy, messy wire set up, but that's okay. It'll all get cleaned up, like I said. Like I said earlier, it's just gonna be um, temporary until it gets all fixed up and done. So I think that's it for this video. We got a whole lot of stuff done and I'm very, very proud of what it looks like. I think it looks awesome. Actually looks so much more complete with all those trims and everything on there. So it's basically officially dried in. It can sit outside now and I don't have to worry about water getting into it or anything like that. So anyway, thank you. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate all my subscribers. If you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any new updates, any new uploads. And uh, yeah, continue liking those videos. And uh, if you don't like them, please tell me why so I can improve. I'm still working on it and hoping to make the best out of it. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Tune in for the next episode. We're going to start working on the interior and get that all buttoned up and cleaned up and start getting a whole layout of uh, where the bed is going to be and where the uh, countertop and cabinets and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, until then, have a great day. Thank you for watching.